This lesson is about cropping images. The example program cuts out a small section of an image to create another image. It's easy to do. Let me show you how. Here we have two image references. The first one, named image, is going to contain a complete image loaded from a file. The second one, crop image, is going to contain a cropped version of the first image. It will consist of a rectangular section pulled out of the first image. This is a call to the toolkit method getImage that loads the original image from disk. The image is a panoramic view that includes the Hale-Bopp comet, and this program is going to make a cropped version that only includes the little section of the comet itself. The cropping itself is done by passing the image through a filter. In this case, it's the crop image filter. We've been all through this filtering stuff before, but it won't hurt to take another quick look. When you construct this kind of filter, you give it the rectangular coordinates of the piece of the image that you would like to have extracted. Any image you pass to it will have just that section extracted and returned as a new image object. Now every image has come from somewhere. It was produced by an object known as an image producer. In this case, the image producer contains the instructions and code that load the image from disk. That is, the code that loads the image is packed as an image producer. Now in this statement, we produce a new image producer in the form of a filtered image source object. This new image producer information includes the stuff from both the original image producer and the image filter. A call is then made to the toolkit method create image to create a completely new image object. It's made by using the input resources of the original image and passing that through the filter. Both of these new images are then added to the list in the media tracker and the program waits until both images are loaded and ready to go. Finally, the overall window is sized to fit the larger picture. The paint method simply puts both images on the screen. The original image fills the screen and the smaller image is inserted toward its lower left hand corner. And here the whole window is filled with the larger image. In the upper right corner you can see the comet in the sky. The second image was made from copying a small rectangle containing the comet and that image is displayed in the lower left hand corner over the top of the original image.